In this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to share a cellular or mobile hotspot connection through a Wi-Fi router. Before continuing with this video, I will advise you to also watch our previous video about wireless distribution system for more detailed information. Before I explain you how to share your mobile hotspot connection through a wireless router, the first question could be that, why would you need this kind of configuration when you can easily share your cellular internet connection using mobile hotspot option, which nowadays is available on almost all the smartphones. Those who are not familiar with the term routers, let me explain you that the router serves as a central point between the local area network and wide area network, which is the internet. Most of the time, routers often connect to a cable or DSL modem for WAN or internet uplink and create a local Wi-Fi and wired Ethernet network for all the local devices in a home or work environment to connect to and share this upstream internet connection while maintaining your local networking. A smartphone creating a personal hotspot is doing the same acting as a router and sharing its cellular WAN that is internet connection with other nearby devices. In this tutorial, we are going to create a kind of Wi-Fi as WAN connection where your router will connect to an external Wi-Fi network upstream that is your cellular hotspot connection and at the same time create a private Wi-Fi network downstream for your local devices to share that connection. This allow all of your home or office devices to always connect to the router instead of directly connecting them to the private hotspot. From past 8 years, I was using a broadband internet connection in my office and was sharing this connection through a wireless router with all other PCs and mobiles in my office with peer-to-peer -peer networking infrastructure. A month ago, because of poor ISP services, I have to switch from broadband to 4G mobile LTE connection. The new 4G connection is much faster and reliable than the broadband connection, but the problem was how to share this cellular internet connection with other devices in my office while maintaining the networking as it was before. If I directly connect all these devices using the hotspot sharing option of new 4G mobile connection, then it only be sharing the internet alone. But what about the peer-to-peer -peer networking configuration? All other PCs will be then connecting to the 4G internet connection, but not to my local LAN. So I decided to use wireless distribution system option of my router and this is how I configured it. Open your router's configuration page and you can find the instructions in the documentation or at the back side of your router with the IP address and default admin and password. My TP-Link requires to use the http colon slash slash tp-link login dot net web address to open the configuration page. After entering the name and password, find the wireless setting option and here I have the WDS which is wireless distribution system option. Make a check mark on this option and then click the survey button to let the router find the nearby Wi-Fi internet connections. I have already configured and turned on hotspot option of my 4G mobile and you can see the same hotspot connection name here. Click the connect button and it will then automatically fill all the required information. Change the security option and then fill in your hotspot password that you have configured in your mobile. On top, you can configure the name of your Wi-Fi network and country and this name and network will be used by other devices in your home or office instead of connecting all of them to your hotspot connection directly. Click the save button and you will be warned that the hotspot and router's channel must be the same and you might have trouble accessing internet if both connections are operating on different channels. You can download a small utility called Wi-Fi Info to know the correct channel of all nearby Wi-Fi connections and the link is given in the description. The good thing for me is that my router can automatically detect the channels and can configure both the hotspot and router on the same channel automatically. Now click the wireless security option and choose a security type and then fill in the password of your new wireless network. 
click the save button and then open the DHCP server settings. When using wireless distribution system, you have to disable the DHCP server because your 4G mobile will now be providing the IP addresses to the connected devices. That's it. Now reboot your router and you are ready to connect all of your devices through your router instead of hotspot and this configuration will be sharing your hotspot internet connection through the router and you can also maintain the peer-to-peer -peer networking infrastructure. The advantage of this configuration is that there will be no limit that how many devices can connect to your wireless network whereas if you directly sharing the hotspot connection then there might be a limitation just like in my mobile the maximum allowed connection are 8 for hotspot sharing. Another advantage is that I am now having internet access on all my devices and they are still connected to a single network and can share files and printer as they were doing before. Now you can ask people to connect to your router's Wi-Fi connection instead of directly connecting them to your mobile hotspot connection. The only disadvantage of this configuration is disabling the DHCP server. After disabling the DHCP server, you don't have the access to control the IP addresses and you cannot apply fixed IP addresses according to MAC addresses and therefore you also lose other functionalities like bandwidth control. If you want to apply fixed IP addresses and want to control bandwidth users and other options like MAC address filtering, then there is the solution. Everything that I explained in this video can be applied to share a cellular internet connection except enabling the DHCP server. There are a lot of benefit of using DHCP server and having permanent IP addresses. You can watch our previous video to know how to enable permanent IP addresses and control bandwidth users while enabling the wireless distribution system. So what I need to do now is to enable DHCP server and that is not possible on the same router where WDS has been enabled. To enable DHCP server, you have to connect another router to this router through LAN port. And then you can enable DHCP server option on the newly connected router and can configure other settings as required. You can see this diagram to understand that how I connected both the routers together. The yellow wire is connected to the LAN port of the router which is accepting connection from the mobile through WDS option and the another end of the wire has been inserted into the WAN port of the second router. Now I open the configuration page of the second router which is 192.168.1.1 and enter the default name and password. I run the quick setup wizard and you can see that in a second it automatically detected the IP addresses from the root router. The advantage of connecting the second router using this method is you can enable DHCP server on this router and can then apply fixed IP addresses and bandwidth control. For my office configuration what I did is I unchecked the option of enable SSID broadcast from the root router which is sharing internet through WDS because I don't want this router to, to broadcast its wireless network name and then I configure the host router with all the desired security setting and ask everyone to connect to host router's wireless network. This way I can easily manage all the connected devices from the from my host router because fixed IP, bandwidth control and MAC filtering is enabled on this router. I hope you might have understood my point. If you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button. Do leave your comments and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to the teacher for more upcoming tutorial videos. Thanks for watching and take care.